The incident occurred in the hours after Argentina's World Cup quarter-final win over Holland at the Lucille Stadium. Qatar World Cup organizers have confirmed the tragic death of security guard John and J.A. Ukibu, who suffered a serious fall at the Lucille Stadium on Saturday shortly after the arena staged Argentina's quarter-final victory over the Netherlands. The devastating development follows the sad news that emerged in the early hours of Saturday morning that American journalist Grant Wall sadly lost his life while reporting on the match in the press box. The security guard was admitted to intensive care after falling from what was described by one witness as a significant height. Another source told The Guardian that the victim had dropped from the top of the stadium concourse to the ground close to Gate 30. Kibu, a 24-year-old from Kenya, was then rushed to Hamad Hospital where it was later confirmed that he was in critical condition before he was tragically pronounced dead on Tuesday. A statement from the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy read, On Saturday 10 December, John and J.A. Ukibu, a security guard at Lucille Stadium, suffered a serious fall while on duty. Stadium medical teams immediately attended the scene and provided emergency treatment before he was transferred to Hammond Medical Hospital's intensive care unit via ambulance. We regret to announce that, despite the efforts of his medical team, he sadly passed away in hospital on Tuesday 13 December, after being in the intensive care unit for three days. His next of kin have been informed. We send our sincere condolences to his family, colleagues and friends during this difficult time. Qatar's tournament organizers are investigating the circumstances leading to the fall as a matter of urgency and will provide further information pending the outcome of the investigation. We will also ensure that his family receive all outstanding dues and monies owed. The incident occurred just a matter of days after it emerged that a contracted Filipino national died at Saudi Arabia's training base earlier in the tournament. The worker, who was attempting to fix lights in a car park at the Ceiling Resort, is said to have fallen head first onto concrete after losing his balance while walking up a ramp alongside a vehicle. Nasser al Qader, the chief executive of the Qatar World Cup, sparked major controversy following the tragedy when stating in response to the incident, death is a natural part of life, whether it's at work, whether it's in your sleep. It's understood that at least 6,500 migrant workers have died in Qatar since they won the right to host the World Cup back in 2010. The latest death of security guard Kibbu provides a timely reminder that there is blood in the soil of the eight World Cup stadiums in Qatar. Eric Wall, the brother of journalist Grant Wall has now confirmed that he no longer suspects foul play after previously raising suspicions surrounding the circumstances of his passing. I regret the video, Eric Wall told the New York Post. I was in shock, and I just had limited information to go on. I'm especially sorry to any people in the Muslim world that I offended. It was never my intention. Following medical reports, Ewall now believes the USA's leading soccer reporter suffered a pulmonary embolism while covering the semi-final clash. Wall received medical assistance in the press box before being transported to hospital where he tragically passed away. Prior to England's World Cup quarter-final clash with France, FIFA lead a commemorative reef in the designated sitting area that had been assigned to Wall for the contest as a mark of respect. Qatari photojournalist Khalid al-Muslim also tragically lost his life the same day after dying suddenly. Roger Pierce, the technical director of ITV Sport, also passed away in Qatar earlier in the tournament. FIFA's Director of Media Relations Brian Swanson has paid tribute to the trio, inviting other members of the media to write their very own messages for those that lost their lives. Swanson tweeted, We are opening books of condolence in the FIFA media centers at all remaining stadiums following the tragic deaths of Khalid al-Muslim, Roger Pierce and Grant Wall during this tournament. Thoughts remain with their families and friends during this difficult time. Thank you for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos. Thank you and goodbye.